love. Um, I forgot my keys. We'll leave the front door open. Watch what you're doing in that car. Mom, Tom is a good driver. Not his driving I'm talking about. Mom! Love you. OK, I love you too. <laughs> bye, bye. Oh, my God. Do you want to stick a CD on? Sorry, did someone mention pizza? You're into Dylan? <sighs> no, it's uh, for your dad. You mentioned he went to that gig ages ago. I tracked down the big beg. Sorry, did I mention pizza? You're being way too subtle, Brian. Well, I'd prefer it if you didn't distract the driver uh, while he was driving. Me? I'd prefer it if you walked home. Oh, you were. Oh, and uh, we watched a preview, morning slash, we watched right. a preview, so we feel sort of mildly yeah. sick as, there because as parents it's, as it's well. minutes, just, well, a minute really before the, the crash itself yeah. happens, and it's, it's, um, it's strong stuff, isn't it? It is. It's, it's a really powerful piece, if I do say so myself. Like, mm. it's, it's very, very powerful. And, I mean, I know it's about um, that's such a horrible topic, but it's actually a very uplifting piece as well, and it shows all the relationships and the bonds between everybody, and... I think that's what makes it a bit more devastating as well. Because it, it can all get shattered yeah. by a moment of foolishness. Mm. Yeah. Um, and this is about this group of friends in two cars yes. driving on a night out, yeah. and we know that a crash happens, and th it has a devastating impact. It doesn't really it? does. It, it's um, it's really powerful as well because Terry, the writer, and the team, I think, made a great choice to, you know, there's a lot of stigma with. Uh, casualties and injuries and accidents being related to reckless driving or mm. driving under the influence but this is isn't it's sort of it's the accident isn't just one person's fault it's just a, a maneuver that mis was misjudged and went wrong and it just was a terrible accident yeah. really. and the statistics for for young people in cars are are not good no no we were doing some research and we found that I think it's 20 percent of um, killed or seriously injured casualties in 2011 were that of children or well, teenagers or yeah. early adults aged between 17 and 24 and the averages of like that's one person every two hours or something ridiculous like yeah. that and I was so unaware that this occurred so often it was it's so scary to and it's the statistic because there's another one it says 75 percent of female passengers killed from 2005 to 11, 2011 were yeah. in a car with a male driver aged between 17 and 24 yeah. so there does seem to be this key issue that is yeah. happening with young drivers are you you know you're still you're only 20 aren't you yeah and i do I you am, worry yeah i do i only started driving in summer last year and I was always really cautious anyway, and so was my mum and dad. But a lot of my friends have been driving for a few years by then anyway, so I was kind of used to being in the car with them and being so young. But since this, it's made me like think twice about everything, yeah. especially my mum and dad, well, whenever I get in the car. The thing is, when you're, 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 when you're young, you drive, you're going to make mistakes. Every, everybody yeah. does. But it's the consequence of those mistakes. I mean, if you, one little thing wrong, which outside yes. a car would have no impact whatsoever, yeah. can shatter. I just think people have this sense of freedom in a car and being so young as well and you, you just think, I don't know, I think being inside that vehicle you think nothing's outside, it's going to go wrong, but it just shows, especially in this, that within seconds it can all change and I just think it's going to make you think twice. Yes, interesting for the audience as well because it's on BBC Three, so yes. very much sort of the target audience actually yeah. and that's the hope is it? what in some ways, you know, it's not just a drama is it? No, it it's very educational, and from, you know, informative and I just... Yeah, I think it's it's a, sends a great message, especially yeah. for our age, mm. definitely. And uh, uh, what's interesting about it is, is it doesn't just say, look, this is you know, bad things happen when you drive a car badly. It, it, it no. builds up a very long, wide portrait yeah, of, you get of to the, see, the ring of friends. Yeah, all the relationships, the family bonds, the 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 friendships, and it the the. The really, really nice group of people, and they all get on really well, and the really familiar characters. I think that's what makes the impact as well. I think everyone can relate to at least one person in this. Yes, and all the friendships as well. Um, so your your boyfriend in the crash yeah. used to play your brother. Is that right? Yeah, when we was like, I think I was about thirteen. He's a couple of years older than me, Lewis, but yeah, he played my brother. That's quite strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we didn't have that many scenes together, so it wasn't too weird, but yeah. it's still it's still weird.